Hello everyone and welcome back to our course on Microsoft Teams. This is still Deb and we are down in section 3 where we've been looking at everything related to video and audio calls. And so far we've been looking at on-demand meetings. So those meetings which are kind of ad hoc in nature. You might be having a conversation within a channel with a few different people and you may decide at that point that you want to start a meeting. Maybe what you're discussing is easier to discuss via an audio or video call. Now the other type of meeting that you can have in Teams is a scheduled meeting. So this is something which is a little bit more planned it might be something that you organize for tomorrow or next week or another time in the future. Now, as with most things in Microsoft, there's numerous different ways that you can schedule a meeting. Now, I'm currently clicked on the calendar tab and you can see in here tomorrow I have a meeting already set up. So this is a Project Delta catch up meeting. Now, if I click on that meeting, it will take me into the details. You can see here I have my participants, Ben and Adam. And if we look on the right hand side, I can see that both of those guys have accepted this meeting. I can see it's scheduled for April the 22nd, 2.30 to 3.30. And then in the main body of this meeting, I have a join Microsoft Teams meeting link. You'll also notice up in the top right hand corner, we have a big old join button. So when it gets to the time of this meeting, you can just jump into here. You can either click on the link or you can click the join button and it will take you into the meeting. And from that point, it's very similar to the on-demand meetings with regards to what you're looking at and how you're viewing your meeting. So let's take a look at how you can create a scheduled meeting. So as I said, you can schedule directly from the calendar. And you'll see up in the top right hand corner, we have a new meeting button and we have two options in there. We can schedule a meeting or we can create a live event. Now I'm going to schedule a meeting. I'm going to call this the marketing meeting. I'm going to invite Ben, Adam, Ryan and also Vicky. And I'm going to set this for Thursday the 23rd at 4 p.m. until 5 p.m. Now, something else I could do in here when I'm scheduling this meeting is I could utilize the scheduling assistant, which you'll find just at the top here next to the details tab. So if I click the scheduling assistant, it's going to show me all of the people that I've invited and it's going to show me if they're busy or not. So if you want to make sure that you're scheduling at a time when everybody is free, you can just move this bar around and move it to a more suitable time if you want to. So scheduling assistant can be very useful. Now, this isn't a recurring meeting. This is a one off. So I'm going to say does not repeat. However, if this was a regular meeting, you wanted to schedule maybe daily, weekly or monthly, you can select a recurrence option just there. You can choose to post this meeting to a specific channel. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to post this to the Northwind Traders marketing channel. I can then type in some details of this meeting. And then once I'm happy with this meeting, I can just click the send button at the top and that's going to send that meeting out. So once that's been added to my calendar, if I click on it, you'll see that what Teams has done is that it's automatically added this join Microsoft Teams meeting link into the invite. So anybody who receives that, they can just click on this link at the time of the meeting and join the meeting. Now, if we jump across to Teams, and I'm going to go to the Northwind Traders marketing channel. If you remember, I chose to post this meeting to this channel, and you can see here at the bottom, marketing catch up to see where we're at with the current campaign. So anyone in this channel can click to see the details of the meeting and can join that way as well. So very nice and simple to schedule a meeting from your calendar. 
Now, another way that you can do this is if you are having a conversation in a channel and you want to schedule a meeting, you can click on the Meet Now button. And instead of selecting Meet Now, you have a Schedule a Meeting option as well. So let's click on Schedule a Meeting and it's going to take you into that same calendar invite. So a couple of different ways that you can get to it. And it's also worth noting in here that when any of your meetings are over, whether they're scheduled or on demand, if you jump across to the Calls tab in the menu on the left hand side and click on History, you're going to be able to see a history of all of the calls that you've made. And when you click on Contacts, you'll be able to see all of your contacts and you have these icons next to each person which will allow you to interact with them via chat, via email, you can start a video call or you can do an audio call as well. So that's it. That's pretty much how you schedule a meeting. In the next module, I'm going to be showing you how to schedule a live event. So please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.